Hi, Clint Brown here. In today's video, we're going to have a look at creating more precise section views. So you may have noticed that when you create a section view that you can infer a constraint with your section line. And effectively what's happened is as I've placed the section line, it's anchored itself to the midpoint of that line over there. But the section line itself can still be lengthened or shortened uh, simply by dragging the endpoints. Another example, in this view here, if we were to create a section view and we didn't infer any constraints, what would happen is that once the view is created, we could move the section line and our section view up here would update to the new position of the section line. Now, the problem with that is that it's not very precise. So what if we wanted to have precise section views? Well, we've got two options. The first option is to go into this um, view over here by right clicking and going edit. We do that by clicking on the section line itself. And we could now use the geometry that we have available to put the section line in place in a precise location. So for instance, if we wanted to run through the middle of the part, we could put a coincident in between projected geometry and the section line. And we can even put in dimensions from the end of the section line to the end of the part. So if we made that 10 millimeters, we can do the same over here. Make those equal. And I could then go finish. So this section line is now set. It can't move anywhere. And you'll actually see as you try and drag it, that those 10 millimeter dimensions show up. And obviously we can get back to that at any stage by going and editing the view. So that's our first option. Our second option is actually to use a view sketch. So you'll see we have view sketch over here. And if I click on that, choose the view I want to draw on, I can now put in precise lines. So if I start out by drawing them over here, I can now use projected geometry. So maybe we want to grab the midpoint over there and I can make this midpoint there of uh, my new section line coincident with the midpoint. And as before, I can add in dimensions to set the size of these lines. And then I can finish my sketch. Now when I create my section, the section tool actually asks me for some feedback. So normally you select a view. It's also asking for select a view or view sketch. So I'm going to choose my view sketch and I'm going to drag out my view. Right, and the great thing with these quarter sections is that obviously we can project an isometric view directly off of them. So I hope that helps you with creating more precise section views. And thanks for taking a look. Thank you.